Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Anna. I know it's been a few days, I've been a little busy, but today is gonna to be a Dollar Tree haul and um, I got this from the, between the, I wanna say the Waldorf, Maryland area, two Dollar Trees, the one um, next to Rainbow, the one um, near Aldi's, and also the one in Annapolis, Maryland. So it's a nice little mix, okay? So let's um, first head into, let's do foodie foodie items really quick. I did find an old El Paso um, 10 taco shells. This is a stand and stuff. So these are the ones that are always really convenient to use um, while you're cooking because they stand up and you get 10 of them. They have them there for a dollar. So that was a really nice find. I'm trying to bag these up as we go to get them out of my way. <laughs> then the next thing, um, they, they bring these back every now and then. They have two different variations. This one's my favorite, and this is by um, Fruta. These are the mini bars, sesame and nuts, okay? This one is my favorite, favorite, favorite. They also have one with like peanuts and pumpkin seeds. They're really good too, but this one's my favorite. Um, the best by date for this is March of 28th of 2022, and these are delicious, absolutely delicious. And they are individually packaged, so that's like a great way to um, take that along as a snack in a car. Super excited to see they brought these back. These are so good. And these are called scrumptious, and these are puff pastries. So they have them in apple filling, and they have them in strawberry. So I was so happy. I haven't seen these in about almost, I want to say two years. I haven't seen these and I can't find them anywhere. So these are absolutely, absolutely delicious. Um, they're fantastic as far as fat. Um, they're not really high in fat, too high in fat and sugars. Um, so this is a really good one. These are just, uh, guys, this is worth their weight in gold. I couldn't believe I saw those there. So I did get several of those. Then I did find the Olive Garden. What? They had an Olive Garden garlic and herb Italian seasoning from this from the restaurant Olive Garden. So I got several of these because we are heavy, heavy spice users for our food. We love our food to be savory. Um, so we use a lot of spices. And I want to say that the Best Buy date, I know because it was a tough one to read. The best by date goes all the way out to 2026. 2026. This is a great proper item, great one to have on your shelf because it has a long shelf life, you guys. And it's name brand. I did buy two of the Jello pudding mixes. Um, there was a recipe that I saw for a cake that I needed, the Jello um, vanilla. Um, mixes they also had it in chocolate oh good job David good job you can put it away now um, he just finished his lessons on Dreambox um, but they had different variations of this but I did just need the vanilla so I got two of those then I saw that they had these um, these are the Betty Crocker no bake a cookie dough bites and they also have it this is the chocolate brownie with chocolate drizzle. The best by date for this is um, January of 2022. And the same thing for this one, right? No, this one's February of 2022. And this one is a peanut butter with chocolate drizzle. Um, no bake cookie bite. So they have both of these and they are by Betty Crocker. This is a really cool find. Great thing to have um, for your shelves for a quick little treat that's an awesome way to go okay I'm making sure my back here doesn't fall <laughs> it is falling okay all right now um, I bought another one of these for little David he loves the mango nectar David you gotta put this in the fridge buddy I got you another one so um, he loves to drink this so here you go put it in the fridge and get nice and cold then I did get two of the stacks and sour cream and onion. They had them there. And the way I check these, you guys, because sometimes they will come all crumpled up, chopped up, broken up. I just go like this. Yeah, I got two of them. No, it's eating one. I go like this. And if you don't hear a lot of noise, that means that they're all in one piece. So you gently just go like this. And you can hear them when they're all crumpled up. They'll go. 
So that's my little trick for that to make sure that they're good to go. Then I did see these. I saw several of y'all hauling these. These are the cake bars. Um, I couldn't find all three, but these are the ones they had in my store. So this one is the um, cake bar with mixed berry and vanilla flavoring filling. So I did buy one just to try it out and see if we like it. And if they like them, then I'll go back and get some more. Then um, that's by seven day. Then I also got it with the chocolate with the cream filling. Yeah, go put it back over there, Bubba. So there you go. So I got the chocolate and the mixed berry for the seven day. And you do get eight individual um, packages, individually packaged in there, which is great. Put that over there. Thank you. Thank you. I think that is everything. I'm hoping that's everything for the food. Okay. So now we're going to move into, let's talk about, can you give me the green bag, Baba? Thank you, because I want to put my stuff in there as I go. Hopefully I can hold on to it and it'll stay open. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so for Crafty Goodness, um, I did buy some of these clamps. Now, they had these clamps out before, and I did buy some more. Um because I want to use these and put them in a package that I have for my diamond painting so I can clip on my diamond painting on a cardboard or a foam core board type of deal to keep it stretched out and then I just clip it on the ends to have it you know just just to have it laid out so I can continue to work on them so I got two of those then I found I should have two of these I found this they had the fasteners the fasteners um, these are the fastener dots. You get 20 of them. So you have the opposite end pieces. These are great for paper projects. That's what I like to use them for. And, you know, so it'll close my books. I just glue them onto some fabric because I usually fabric them up and I use ribbons and all kinds of stuff and I use that. So I bought that for that purpose. Along with paper projects, I wanted to do a Christmas monthly, which I'm probably not going to get it done since, you know, all this stuff is happening here. Uh, but I wanted to do it in a blue and diamond motif. So it's something I'll probably work on throughout the year of next year and then have my um, monthly, my daily for next Christmas. But I wanted to do it in this really pretty ice blue and diamond. So I should be able to find other things throughout the year to, you know, supplement that look. But they're really pretty. So this is just the zigzag jewels, and they do come in different colors. I got the diamond. Then I got the diamond wrap in this beautiful icy blue, just for that purpose. And then I got this one, the zigzag in this color, in that really gorgeous blue as well. That's going to look so pretty in my Christmas book one that I want to do. <clears throat> Then I found these. They come inside these containers just like so. And that's what's inside of them. So this is by Crafter Square. You get 150 pieces. These are DIY bead kits, okay? And the reason why I got these, because normally I don't go for plastic beads. I just don't. I don't like plastic beads unless they're like really unique and interesting and they look like faux stone or faux jade or something like that. Um, I got these to use for my dollhouse miniatures. Um, I thought that this would be a great way to make some, um, some lamps. And then I could just spray paint them or paint them the colors that I want. But like this would be a really cool lamp to do with the shell with that one for a kid's room. Um, building them up between that one and these really cool looking shapes so it just gave me a lot of like cool ideas so I got three so I could play around with these and there are 150 each in there then they did have the um, the fabrics again and these are the fat quarters by create it okay this is not a Dollar Tree brand this is by create it so okay so I got one of the llamas I thought that this would be a really cool um, book cover, like to cover up a book and have these really gorgeous llamas. I thought this would be a great little one for like during the summer because a nice beautiful teal and then you see the, the cacti and what have you. Yeah, so that was my idea. Then this, I got two of these to go for like a boy theme room. 
so I could do like bed sheets for my dollhouse miniatures, curtains. Yeah. So that was, you know, what I, I thought of trying to do with these because I thought that was so cool with little sharks. Yeah, those are really cool. Then the last one for the fabrics I got, again, for dollhouse miniatures, I thought I could do another boy theme and it has these really cool dragons with this black background. You see that? And these are all 18 by 21, just so you know. So a lot of interesting options that they have out there right now. I was really excited to see those. I almost, okay, you guys, I had to like, I couldn't believe they had these. Okay, you see that? Yes, I couldn't believe they had these. So these are the glue gun pads by Crafter Square. I almost bought a glue gun pad for like $6. I am so happy I did not pick it up because they had it there at the Dollar Tree. They have it in blue and this hot pink. And that's what it looks like right there. You see that? So you put your glue gun right on top so it doesn't mar, stain, or damage whatever, wherever you're working on. And it's just an easy cleanup. And they had it in this really pretty blue and hot pink. I'm not too sure if they had any other colors. These are just the two that I, that I picked up. I can't honestly remember if there was more colors or not. It might have been, I don't know. Then I got these for putting away my dollhouse miniatures since, since we are packing my dollhouse miniatures away. I hope you come and check out those videos. I am sharing my rooms as I put them away. And these are the nice big ones and these are by Tool Bench. And um, these are so helpful when you're putting away all the little bits and pieces. And um, they're already, uh, you know, set up in their own little tiny boxes or little destinations as you'd like to say. So I bought that for that main reason. I bought only two. I should have gotten like four or five, but I'm just doing two at a time right now. All right, now I only bought, uh, well wait, regroup. Okay, let's do Christmas. Um, really excited to have seen. Happy holidays. Yes, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm pleased as punch. I love this. So I have that one. i put that one there. Then I have these little guys. I got my little elves. I got my girl elf and my boy elf. Yes, look how cute. Look how, and look how big they are. These things are, look, these are huge. Look how cute. Look how cute. So I got my little elves. I'm gonna lay that down right there. Oh, I love those so much. Then for Christmas, I almost, oh yes, and I found the little feet. Where's the other one? So they have the little the little feet that you could stick inside of a um, of a, a Christmas tree. So obviously you face it the opposite direction. You know they're they're both you know decorated. You put it in the opposite direction, and it looks like the little feet are sticking out of a Christmas tree. So I did get two because I I've always wanted to do that and I never have. Then they had these. This is this is so cute. Um, this is a pom-pom craft kit and it's 50 pieces and it creates a little moosey. So I got this for the boys. They just brought these out. So you just need glue. Look, David's like, give it to me. Yeah, they just need glue. Here you go. You can hold on to that until I'm done and then we'll get the glue. Then I did find this really pretty. They had it over there next to the Christmas um, department. It's called Color the Seasons Advanced Coloring Book. Okay, they do have these on a regular now. And this is by Benden. And I just thought it was really pretty. And if you guys saw, I'm loving this one. That one with the cardinals. Is that a cardinal or a blue jay? I think it's a cardinal. We'll figure it out. It's whatever color I color it, it's what it's gonna be. But I really love the pictures. Look, and there's a little Thanksgiving mixed up in there, a little autumn. You see that? So it was like a nice mix for the holidays. Ooh, I wanted to show you all the pictures. I know it's going by really fast, but. So it was like a nice mix of all the seasons. So I really, really like that. 
and I just shared in my um, in my haul from five and below I shared what I bought from five and below and I bought some coloring pencils from there as well that it was a 17 count for five dollars now in the book department they had these and these are the beaver books okay this is not well this is imported by Dollar Tree um, but they go for three dollars and 95 cents and these are reptile right here is the reptile and amphibians and this one is in the forest so it's you open it up and you color by number and it has 24 pages so that's the amphibians so you have lots of choices and then it comes with the little markers this is like a cute you know stuffing sticker stuffy stuffy dog car stop <laughs> i know you guys are laughing when these stocking stuffer blah, blah 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 yeah so there you go david hold on to that my love then um this is, not, this is not for children it is for children it's okay it's the pom-pom thing says warning it has small pieces for children it is for children I, I guarantee you it's for children he reads and he understands so they do have the craft glue um sticks you guys in the silver and gold for those of you that are looking for them they have them available right now so if you see them grab it while you can because these are really hard to find as soon as the christmas season kicks up then you get 15 sticks in each you get 15. then i saw these because I was, I've seen a lot of um, people making really gorgeous tassels. And for my Christmas theme, iced out blue, I got these really gorgeous pearly crafter square. I don't know how many are in here. 82 piece, really pearlescent blue and pink. And I thought that these would work out really well, making different um, bookmarks and page inserts and having all these little things just, you know, bubbling over. That's gonna look so cool, right? Yes, it's gonna look really cool. Okay, and then the other, only other book that I picked up was this one, Nick and, Tel and Tesla's Solar Powered Showdown. A mystery when sun powered um, gadgets you can build yourself by Science Bob, okay? And Steve Hawkinsmith. So that was really cool. So I got that for little Frank. And let me show you the, it's a hardback book. So that's gonna be an interesting read and how they create stuff and it's a story. It's like a really nice combo thing. All right, then for toys, I was really looking for more like stop, stocking stuffers and things like that. Um, I decided to buy these because uh, these are the Brickett plates. Um, the Lego plates go for more than $9.99 now so if you can get it for a dollar, your boys or your child, your girl, whoever, your grandkids like to play with Legos, this is a great way to buy a nice big um, plate for a dollar. So I got the brown, the green, and the blue. They also had it in the gray. They also have them themed like in a football field and two or three other things. Um, but I just got the plain larger ones so they can play with them with their Legos. Can you hold this, honey? Thank you. Now, um, in the picture department, these are the only two pictures that I bought. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. And this is the wall art. This kind of has this really um, neat oblong look to it. Um, it's very small. So my thoughts were I could, I could take this off of here and cut it up and make pictures. For my dollhouse miniatures out of it because it's so pretty this one is just gorgeous as well absolutely beautiful if you see it in person it's so much prettier in person it's very serene and a very tranquil feeling um, i love these type of pictures so i got those two for that purpose to see if i could you know get kind of creative with it now just a heads up from my friends here um, they still have gold toe socks popping up. So I found these and these go for $16, 16 bucks right there. 
$16. Can you see that? Uh, you get three pairs. And these are the kind they have like the little tab here. Um, it has a perfect comfort, perfect comfort feature. Knit and stay cool wicking yarns that provide extreme moisture. Um, so yeah. So you can wear this as like basically a little top, but it's really, it's really thick. It's thicker, better quality. Um, if you touch the bottoms, it's like thicker. It gives you like almost like a cushion. And if you touch these here, it has uh, like the, a rubber, so it won't slide underneath your heel. Amazing. And I also got them in white, um, $16 again, three pair. But this one doesn't really have the tab, but it still has that rubber right here insert that's in the fabric and it's still thicker. If you feel the, the, the padding here on the bottom, very nice socks. Then I got these for my husband. These retail for, I don't know, they got it covered, but this sauce, this is also a three pack men's dress socks and these are gold toe, um, rayon crew. That's what they're calling them. And I got a three pack of this, uh, $19. These go for 19 bucks. And these are the Argyle socks. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, $20 socks, y'all. My husband, you know, loves them. And then this set here for $18, and it is a three pack with the stripey. Um, the solid and then this solid gray in the back. You can't go wrong with it. I can't even wear these because they're just awesome. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's go into beauty. <laughs> they have the um, Be Pure. They got a lot of Be Pure products coming in right now. Um, there were a couple of things I did not pick up. They had um, something that said compared to Amazon for a, it was either a vitamin C or a hyaluronic acid. Uh, serum for the face. I did pick that one up, but I'm going to show you what I did pick up. Uh, but I did get this face bead mask because I've been getting a lot of migraines lately. I guess it's just the stress of moving and what have you and packing. It's just very stressful. So I did get this. Can you put that in the fridge for me so it can get cold day day? Thank you. Yeah. Then to give you an idea, they have these coral light. Um, this is a bonus pack for four extra bandages so you get 14 it's the big ums it's the big one but they also had a coral light um bandage sheer bandages for a hundred and i want to say 115 count so they have two of them i didn't really need the other one but i needed the big one for a dollar you can't beat that so i i picked up one i got some more cotton balls for my nails oh and look i almost forgot this was tucked underneath everything I found this really cute stars. Well, not stars, but snowflakes. Um, again, they have that wood and then the fabric underneath of it, like sandwiched in between. It's just so pretty. And these would be perfect for like gifts or even as um, on your tassels for my Christmas book and what have you. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking about using it for. Then continuing on in beauty, they did have the Extra Care Watermelon Daily Wash. I did get two of these. This has a really nice watermelon scent. It says to hydrate your skin with watermelon extract. So it's supposed to leave you feeling hydrated and fresh. And it's paraben free. Um, again, this is not Dollar Tree brand. And when I smelled it, Oh, it has such a nice scent of watermelon, you guys. And I'm not a watermelon type of a gal. So, you know, if I bought this, it's, I liked it. It's not an overwhelming scent. Then I did find the Panda Coconut Mask. Uh, this is designed by, I can't even say the name. It was designed by somebody. But there you go. There's a coconut, the Coconut Panda Mask. Then I, I found the Love um, Hard Candy love creamy exfoliating body scrub i only bought one because uh it, it looks like this it just didn't have a strong scent to it so i only bought one just to see how well it is then they had the lever calming sweet pea body wash now this smells really nice this would be a wonderful hand wash as well as a refill for your hand washes this has a scent of like Bath and Body Works. Yeah, 
it's like that for the sweet pea then i was also able to find the lucky witch hazel so i bought two of them witch hazel um, solution uh, so that was kind of cool fine you can do a lot of stuff with witch hazel so that's why i bought it then they had the be pure let's talk about this one uh is this one by be pure no this one's by ob skincare hyaluronic acid serum 1.2 um it's by ob and like i said they had a couple of different variations you guys i didn't buy them all i just picked up this hyaluronic one just to see what it's like okay and that's what the box looks like and so it looks like this and it is a plastic container um so we'll see you know we'll see how it goes then they they had by be pure like i said they have a lot of products by be pure in there right now i'm not too sure why this is the infused lip oil green tea so that's the only one that they had was a green tea lip oil by be pure so i was like i'll try that out we'll see what it's like then by b color they had the hydrating lip gloss with hyaluronic acid in it um i was like wow it's got hyaluronic acid they did have two colors this is garnet and fire i'm going to do a quick swatch for you guys so we can see what the true color of this is so we'll start off with fire okay and this is supposed to enhance your lip contour and create shine again we're going to try fire really quick and see what the true color of this is to see if it's like a, yeah this is very sheer very sheer so even though it looks like it has a lot of color a lot of color payoff this is a definite sheer very sheer color right there that's what you're gonna get okay right there this is fire that's fire very sheer but it's pretty i like sheer colors i don't even have anything on right now nothing on let's see mm, that's nice i like that hmm. doesn't smell bad okay so it gives me a nice little you know sheer color that's very nice i'm not feeling funny yet <laughs> And this one is Garnet. So let's see if Garnet has a little bit more color payoff or if it's another sheer, um, a light sheer color, which, you know, a lot of people just want a little sheer color. They don't want anything too heavy sometimes. So this one's Garnet. We'll put it right here. This, this Garnet does have a little bit more color. And what I will say is Garnet has a little smell to it so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna wear garnet but it has more more color payoff yeah this one smells a little different to me so i'm not gonna mess with this but i just want to show it to y'all i'm gonna toss this one because i'm trying to be really careful with what i'm putting on my face right now because you just got to be careful then i also picked up these these are great to have it comes on an eight pack normally you can only find a four or a six pack now so if you can find an eight pack individual packs i highly suggest you get them throw them in your purse throw them in the kids backpacks so they have a little something for their little runny noses because you know everybody gets a runny nose this time of the season so that's everything you guys thank you so much for coming by go check out my last video it shows you who the winner was you might be the winner to my secret giveaway and make sure you watch all my videos and become a subscriber because you might be the next one so i'm gonna talk to you guys later thank you so much for coming by have a beautiful day